everybody. Welcome back to Live from the Summit virtually. I'm Jimmy Young from Pro Cannabis Media, the founder, and we were supposed to be right here at the Summit Lounge doing our show live with an in-person audience with all sorts of uh, things to give away and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it snowed here and that freaks people out. So we didn't want to have to worry about that. And we decided to do it on Zoom, but we will be at the Summit Lounge on March 1st. And I hope I just didn't jinx it because as we know, March is the snowiest month of the year in Massachusetts. Elena Pinto is with us. Eric Martin is with us. But most importantly now, Gary George from New York City, the real cannabis entrepreneur. You guys think I have a lot of energy, right? It pales <laughs> in comparison to this guy. Gary, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, Jimmy. I'm glad to be here. Let's go. Let's go. Jersey in the building. Let's go. Massachusetts in the building. NYC in the building. Let's get Canna going. Real cannabis entrepreneur. We are in the building. Live, live, live. Let's go, Jimmy. Look at that. Elena's already doing the dance already. I love that. I love it. Um, Gary, you got New Jersey, New yes. State, New York City, another new state, yes. Connecticut, another new state. Yep. Now you've got the tri-state area of cannabis, right? That's right. What have been your impressions on the openings of these New York dispensaries? There was kind of an oops with one. Now there's another one opening. What's your feeling about how it's going in New York State? Uh, it's, it's going. It's going, man. In New York, we can't complain. You know what I'm saying? Jersey, um, we were all banking that we were going to beat New York. You know, New, Jer New Jersey and New York have always had a race to the, you know, to beat them at this or that. And this cannabis game it was that. And New York has beat Jersey. Hook, line, and sinker. Give it up for New York, ladies and gentlemen. They did it. They said by the end of the year. And they made it happen by the end of the year. We all thought it was impossible. And they did it. They made it happen. So I got to give it up to New York, man. They definitely beat us jersey they open first one down second one up uh, i believe they opened up today or the grand opening was yesterday or something like that so um yeah man there's gonna be some bumps in the roads but they're open they're open they're going so that's what it is man yeah i i think it's great because the fight of legalization now is over now you guys can actually funk you know kind of keep an eye on the supply the demand the issues you know all the different things now that would be related to the birth of a new industry, right? Ab absolutely, man. This is what we all been waiting for. The whole time that we've been speculating, going through this whole process, right? Real cannabis entrepreneur. My wife and I, we started this back in 2018 when it's first mentioned of New Jersey going legal, right? We were forerunners in the space. We knew it was coming. We wanted to make sure that all our young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. had the information that they needed to really make a success in this industry. You know, I've been a long time serial entrepreneur. I've been, I've been in business for 27 years. And this was my time to give back to all of my fellow uh, new and up and coming entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs want to do it big. Everybody wants to understand this game because it is a complicated business and you got to have real mentors. And that's the way that we do it, man. We bring the mentors to you, real cannabis entrepreneur, baby. If you want to learn this game, Come holla at us, realcannabisentrepreneur.com. You know what it is, Jimmy. Let's go. <laughs> yes, I do. And, and in fact, I think we have some B-roll of you in action, some video of the Real Cannabis Entrepreneur Conference that I was at. Oh, yeah. I don't even remember when. It was a few months ago in, <laughs> in Newark. October, yes, that. yes, yes. Sold out, man. We did over 1,000 people in Newark, New Jersey. Represent Brick City in the building, Newark, New Jersey. Come out. We did it big, man. And um, and we got another one coming this October, ladies and gentlemen. And you, I, I'm making this on your show, Jimmy. This is a this is an exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. There's nobody breaking knows news. This. We have nobody breaking knows news. This. That's right. Breaking news. That's right. Breaking <laughs> news on PCM, man. We're doing it October 21st, 22nd, 2023, baby. And we might add an extra day for some workshops because we really want to make sure that everybody has the details that they need to be successful in this business, ladies and gentlemen. So realcannabisentrepreneur.com, go there right now and check it out, man. Get your tickets October. Nah, we didn't launch the tickets yet, but you can get on the list for when we launch. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, what's that? Who should be going? Oh. Anybody who wants to get into the business of cannabis, anybody who wants to understand and be an entrepreneur in this game, if you're in any segment of it, whether you want to be a cultivator, retailer, in distribution, delivery, whatever, we are the ones that we bring all the people who have been doing it for years. That's all the people you see behind me who've been doing it for years, umpteen years, 20 years, 10 years. Uh, we bring them here to teach all of our entrepreneurs here in New Jersey exactly how to get in the business. Up. Uh, and people come from all over. It's not just Jersey. We have people come. Uh, our last one we had from 18 countries. Girl came as far as Zimbabwe, Virgin Islands. Represent. We do it big in Jersey. And it's a conglomerate of everybody, man. So that's what it is. Yeah. 
Gary, nice. where do you get your energy from? I mean, we're showing you on stage. Good cannabis, party. baby. Good cannabis, <laughs> Jeffy. You know where it is. <laughs> All sativas, huh? That's right, man. That's that good hashish, man. That good hashish. Oh. I heard y'all talking about different strains back in the day. You know, I'm an old schooler too, Jeffy. You know, I look young, but I, I, I've been around. So, you know, y'all were talking strains. I said, most of them don't even know about chocolate tie, real chocolate tie, right? I was telling my son about that. And they were like, what? Did it really smell like chocolate? I said, yeah, I had some recently. I said, it really came on a stick. That's real chocolate tie stick, you know, but youngest don't know nothing about that. I mean, they no, don't know nothing about I that. do know about tie yeah. stick though. I'll admit that. <laughs> Moroccan, black Moroccan hash is yeah. still some of the best I've ever, ever had. Now, granted, it's been 30 years. Yeah. 30 years. Yeah, at least 30 yeah. years. Oh Maybe man, 40. we got to get you some Maybe more of that. 40. We yeah, got to well, get you some more you know, of that ASAP, Jimmy. We got to get you some more of that goodness, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got plenty of goodness. And I got my spray, too. I don't know if you got to see that. Dude, but I, love I did. I did. Spray. Yeah. Um, Elena and Gary. I, I, I mean, Elena and Eric. Um, which Would you like to ask uh, Gary a question a little bit? Because, I mean, this guy is a wealth of information, tremendous experience. And I'd love to get you more get you involved with the conversation a little bit. So yeah, uh, I had another question about this conference. So sure, what sure. kind of things are we learning about? Who are the speakers? You know, yeah. what type of workshops will actually be there? Oh, very good question, man. We want to bring when I I'm going to tell you guys how we really started to do this whole thing, right? Back in 2018, my wife and I decided to get in the game of cannabis, right? I'm a long time entrepreneur. I own a digital marketing agency, a 27 year old digital marketing agency, right? I, we were filling the events for all the big motivational uh, speakers, authors, all those guys across the country doing all that for a long, long time. My wife was doing a production. I was doing the marketing, filling these things up. We had a bunch of fun. We made a bunch of money. It was great. But then we said, we need to do this with something we're passionate about. You know what I mean? So that's what we did with Flip. We said, ah, you know what? It's time to do the cannabis thing. My son kept telling me, dad, cannabis is coming to New Jersey. It's coming to New Jersey. And I kept saying, I don't think you're right, son. They love locking us up too much. I don't think they're going to bring it to New Jersey. And then sure enough, we saw the advance of it coming and coming. And I real, realized it was reality. So basically, we went around the country. We went to other uh, conferences just to see, you know, and I was used to a very different type of flow. I speak from the stages, a lot of marketing conventions and stuff like that. And I was used to the, uh, getting that type of one, two, three. This is how I did it. And when I went to the cannabis conferences, it was very different. Everybody was talking about their dog and what they had done over here and how much money they made. But no one was telling them how to and I said that's the light bulb the marketer me said you know what I'm tired of looking for this thing that I can't find I'm gonna create it so real cannabis entrepreneur conference was really a conference that I created for my own self so that I can go out and get the people who have been doing it for 10 to 20 years the people not professors the real people who've been doing it in the field that can tell you in real time because cannabis moves so fast that no professor can teach you this out of a book because it's moving so dynamically fast that by next week, all of the information in that book is going to be damn near outdated. That's how fast it moves. And that's the reason why we bring it back every year to bring you the most real cannabis entrepreneurs who are doing it in real time that can tell you what's going on and put I'm, the pulse in the beat, baby. That's take, how we do it. Real cannabis, baby. Let's go, Jimmy. Take, Let's go. Take, Let's take go, a Eric. breath. Let's go. Take Let's a breath, go. Gary. <laughs> Eric, you got, a, you got a question you want to throw at Gary? You can. Go ahead. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, my brother's probably watching it. He's, he lives in Brooklyn. Um, he's very interested in getting involved. What do you think, what do you think he, his next step should be? He doesn't have any experience in it, but he understands it and he's definitely interested. And so is his father. Uh, Great. So um, that's beautiful. Father and son yeah. team. I'm doing the same thing. My son's going for a dispensary application. I put him through the whole process for the whole thing. He's going to be set for the be the next youngest dispensary owner in the country. The youngest dispensary owner in the wow. country right now is in Massachusetts. My man Shayun Shayun the Data G is the youngest dispensary owner. He had it when he was 24. He's about 27 right now. He owns. He's the youngest multi-state operator out there. He's 29 mm -hmm. years old. Been doing it since 27. Got two in Oregon. Got two in Massachusetts. Right. My son's been a uh, been around him since he was uh, just coming out of high school, as well as Hope Wiseman. Hope Wiseman was the first youngest dispensary owner, right? She was the original who I came out. That. that was the one who was doing it in Maryland, Hope uh, Maryland, the Maine. She comes every year and teaches at the conference, those kind of things. But back to the question, Eric, how do you get in? Let's talk to your brother and tell him, how does he get in? What information does he need, right? And my thing is, first and foremost, what I tell everybody asks me that question a lot, I say, Gary, what's, what's the fastest way I can get into the industry? And I say, 
the fastest way you can get in is using your existing skill sets and applying it to cannabis. Everybody thinks that it's about coming in and just being a cultivator and touching the plant. And I want to take these fly pictures with the plant and be like, oh, look at these buds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's not just about that. There's a whole other, it's a complete industry. So if you're a doctor, don't come in and try to be a cultivator, be a cannabis doctor. If you're an attorney, mm -hmm. be a cannabis attorney. Right now, we have a running joke in cannabis that the people that are making the most money in cannabis are the non-flower touching individuals, the attorneys and the accountants are making the most money in cannabis, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we know why the media you? guys aren't, I can tell you that right now, all <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> right, Jimmy, we got, we, got, we got to get to the front of the line, man. But the, you know, these, the, 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 that's what I say to everybody. Uh, initially, use your own skill sets to get in the game. Now, secondly, if you truly want to get into that game and you have skill sets that are applicable to cultivation, many people think they want to be cultivators, but do you want to have dirt under your nails? The girls say, I want to be a cultivator. Do you want to have dirt under your nails? To have you kept the house plan alive for more than a year in your house? <laughs> if you haven't done that yet, you probably should look somewhere else first. Keep a, a house plan alive for at least a year before you try to do this and grow 10,000 plants that are costing you uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line. You don't want to, you don't want to be that guy. So that's what I uh, recommend there. If you do have experience in retail, if you do have experience in customer service, you do have experience in sales, any of those things are applicable to retail dispensary storefronts, any of those skills in di uh, dispensary manufacturing, any of those people who know how to build products, anybody who knows how to build brands. Brands are it, ladies and gentlemen. If those are the things that all the investors are looking for right now, the brands are going to be the ones that run the long haul. This whole industry is going to go like this, like that but the brands are going to be there synonymously be the ones that at the end, the ones that cash out the biggest. So build the brand, baby, build the brand, They're build now, the brand. I hope that was a good answer. I hope that was a good answer. Do they have delivery out there? Yes. Yep. We got delivery out here as well in New Jersey, but they attach it in delivery. You must be attached to a retail dispensary. So they kind of jerked us. So we can't have a separate delivery operation. Right. Uh, I, again, I own a marketing company. So I help a lot of the other guys that were my, I help market a lot of the guys on the West coast in the early days, a lot of my cannabis uh, guys and CBD guys on the West coast. Right. And I helped grow a lot of big delivery companies out there. And when I realized how big delivery could really be was when I saw it in California and those guys had the ability to not go through the middle man, which they make all of us do. We have to go through the dispensary to do the delivery. Out in California, you could have your own warehouse, store it your own self, have your own product, your own everything without having the storefront, saving all wow. of that upfront, you know, money Cost. and being able to rock. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So it's coming though. The rules are going to change. So I tell everybody, just be prepared. You got to get in the game first. And then as rules change, only those who are already in the game are going to be able to pivot. A lot of people think that, oh, I'm going to wait and see how it goes and come in late. Yeah, it's going to be way too late for you, man. It's going to be the ones who are dominating. We're going to be running circles around everybody else because we're going to have all the chops to be able to do it. So you got to get in now. If you guys want to get in the game, holla at us. Oh, and by the way, if you guys need help for real, real canna consulting.com real can consulting.com but ladies and gentlemen why my wife and I we're helping a whole bunch of people getting through this process man and making sure that you guys don't get ripped off by all these shady you know consultants and attorneys and everybody else out here is taking everybody for you know we want to make sure it's done right so we, we we have our services as well I was going to ask you to plug your your conference but you already did of course so yes yes real cannabis entrepreneur.com <laughs> real cannabis entrepreneur.com that's right uh, check us out October 21st 22nd got a whole bunch going on there and a whole lot more to come man but I ain't going to talk too much y'all I ain't going to talk too much was that well, actually, I'm going to pull the plug on you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we're going to take a break and come back with, uh, I think I've got two more guests coming in. Don't go away, but we have more of our live, sort of live, from the Summit Lounge talk show uh, tonight. Don't go away. We'll have more after this.